back-to-back -back games where the Leafs' offense can't come through. And, you know, the first game against Montreal, it kind of had a reason. You had Carey Price. You had Shea Weber. You know, you got to get through those guys and the rest of the defense score. But, you know, okay, they played a good game overall, although they had lots of chances, just couldn't put in the back of that. Oh, well, it, it, just, it, it is what it is. You got to battle through it. Today, however, Carolina is not an, a ridiculously good team. They now have an 8-6-4 record on the season. They've won five straight, and that is because of their defense and the way they're playing. You know, a lot of people frustrated because they only scored one goal. I'm one of them. However, Carolina played a darn good game today. Most of it on the defensive end. If you watch, how many times did the did the Carolina Hurricanes stop the Leafs at the blue line, get them to turn it over, and spin back and go the other way? Or, when the Leafs got in the zone, it was kind of like a swarm, and they're all on you, turn the puck over. There you go. But when you had a chance, it wasn't a very big quality chance. They didn't give the Leafs a lot to work with. And even when they did, the Leafs didn't really capitalize on those mistakes. So, yeah, bleh, tough one to lose, especially against a team that's not too great. You play so well at home, and you just, you just, you just can't find a way to do it. You just, you just can't find a way to win. And... It takes grinding. It takes these two one losses. It takes the three two wins. The one goal games are huge in any sport. With baseball and the one run games, it's huge. With basketball and the close games, how do, how do players react? With hockey and one goal games, it's the same thing. How do they play? You know, do, do they play well under the pressure? The Leafs. We haven't seen a whole lot of it yet. Obviously, early in the year with the lead, they were atrocious to watch. But as times went on, they started winning some one-goal games, and they looked pretty good. Now, it's kind of on the flip side. One-goal games, but they just can't find a way to put it in the net just to get it in and uh, you know, at least force overtime with a, game, with, a, with a goal late, right? They're just not finding a way to do that. That will come. They're kind of going through every single situation. It's kind of weird. You know, the, the close wins, the blowout wins, the blowout losses, the close losses. You know, they're, they're going through everything, and that's what you like to see with the young team. The craziness of games. You're, you're going to see it. It's going to happen. We're going through it. I mean, it is what it is. Big credits to Freddie Anderson, though. He had one heck of a night again tonight. Two goals on 29 shots. Both goals were not really his fault. So... How can we blame him? The first goal for, well, you know, the first goal was scored by Jake Gardner. His fourth of the year for the Leafs. Four. He's got nine points. Four goals, five assists. That sounds like a forward type of statistic. He's doing very good so far. Connor Carrick with an assist. That's his third point on the young season. And Nazem Kadri with his 14th point, seven goals, seven assists. So he's looking pretty darn good so far this year. And the Leafs were off to a good start. Late in, the, late in the first, though, Jeff Skinner bouncing puck, literally bouncing puck over Freddie Anderson, hits a couple skates, and just slides gracefully in the net. 1-1. One, one. If you look back at that goal, I probably hit about six things before it went in the net. Ah, that was awful. But, tie game, whatever. Second period, late. Well, yeah, six minutes to go. Leafs, Leafs are on the power play. You know, they do obviously the play where the defenseman takes it up, drops it back for the forward, and they try and bust through the middle or try and pass it to the corners and get it around and do all that crazy good stuff. They tried it, and I think it was Jake Gardner who dropped it back. If it wasn't Jake Gardner, let me know. But if it, I, I'm going to say Jake Gardner dropped it back for Tyler Bozak, tried to sauce it through. Elias Lindholm said, uh uh. Stops it with his stick on a dime. Quick feed up to Victor Stahlberg on a breakaway and scores to make it a 2-1 game. Shorthanded, and that just grinds my gears. The shorthanded goals just, they really hurt. And they always find a way to come back and bite you in the butt, and they did, because that was the game-winning goal. 
Boo! That sucked. It was garbage. <sighs> On positive notes, I'm going to take positives out of this game. The Leafs were really bad in the faceoff dot in the first period and a half, two periods. They ended up going 50% with, with the Carolina Hurricanes. They did a very good job late second, all through the third period on the draws. They looked really good. The exact same in hits. So it was a very tight game overall. You know, Both teams played a really tight-knit game. Obviously, Leafs, uh, Carolina won in shots by three. Overall, it was a fun game to watch. It was a good game to watch. It was a great hockey game to watch. But you know what? Even though it was a tough one, they get a quick turnaround. Tomorrow night in New Jersey, 7 o'clock start. You're up against Corey Schneider. You might see, a, well, you probably, well, you know what? I don't doubt my, uh, Mike Babcock. You might see Jonas Enroth in the net. You might see Freddie Anderson again because he didn't get a big load of shots tonight. You might see him in again tomorrow night. We, we're going to have to wait and see what happens there. You need a win like that. You need a win like that because then you don't play till Saturday and you're facing the Washington Capitals. Yes, you're at home, but you're facing Washington. So you got to get a win against New Jersey. A struggling New Jersey team, obviously, with Taylor Hall injured. So you maybe take advantage of that. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good game tomorrow. They're gonna they're kind of like the Carolina Hurricanes in a sense where they just bottle you up and get you angry. <laughs> So it, it is what it is, right? So that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you guys really enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. We were 150 subs. I'm not sure where that came from, but you know what? I appreciate every single one of you guys. It's been a blast. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the good times rolling. And uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night post-game at New Jersey Leafs. Also, Raptors, Rockets, tomorrow night as well. So we got a double whammy tomorrow night. We'll talk to you guys both games tomorrow night. See ya.